I owe so much to my family. I owe so much to what we call Team Hookstra, our volunteers, our supporters, our interns, and our staff. And we owe a tremendous amount of gratitude to the people of Oakland County. These are the folks that... Yeah. Oakland County and Southeast Michigan, you know, Oakland County not only has been very supportive of us in this campaign, as represented behind me and many others throughout this county and throughout Southeast Michigan, it's also the home of our next president. Yeah. I also want to extend the appreciation to Clark Durant and Randy Heckman. They ran very respectable campaigns. They have made our campaign better. They have made our team better. We will take what we have learned over the last 13 weeks in terms of having an honorable campaign with those two individuals. We will take what we, will, what we have learned and apply it to the next 13 weeks. We are better because they were in the race. We are a better party because they are in the race. We are going to be more united because we are all going to come together because we have an objective. We have an objective of a new president, 51 votes in the U.S. Senate that are going to be pro-growth, pro-job, pro-middle class. I also want to say, I also want to say thank you to one other individual and his wife. That is Governor Rick Snyder. Rick has done everything that we could have asked of him over the last 11 months. More importantly, Rick has delivered the promises that he made to the people of Michigan two years ago on primary night when you selected him to be the Republican nominee. He is leading the effort of, of the Michigan Republicans that is enabling Michigan to become the comeback state in America. As I said, we are going to hold the president accountable. We are going to hold the follower-in-chief, Debbie Stabenow, accountable because we do believe that we can do better. We believe that we can do better than a Washington, D.C. that says, if you're successful, you're successful because government created that success. We believe it's because of the hard work of millions of, Ameri of Americans across this state and across this country why we will be a successful country. We can do better than taking the best health care system in the world and putting it under government control. Let's address the problems. And let's not give it all over to the federal government, where the first people that they hire are not health care experts, but IRS agents. It's the wrong way to go. And we can do better. And we can do better. You know, I spent a lot of time on the Intelligence Committee, and I view this as a national security issue, but it's also an economic security issue. We are at the threshold of being a country that is energy independent, no longer dependent on Venezuela and the Middle East for our energy supplies, and we can do better than a president and a senator who say no to the Keystone Pipeline, who say no to expanded drilling, and who say no to economic opportunity in America. And I've served on the Budget Committee under John Kasich, now the governor of Ohio, when every year we passed a budget, we implemented the budget, and we balanced the budget. We will hold Debbie Stabenow accountable and say we can do better than a Senate Budget Committee that has not passed a budget in 1,200 days. And this campaign will continue talking about solutions, solutions that will empower the middle class, foster job creation, and bring this economy back. What type of solutions are we talking about? We are talking about simplifying the tax code, we are talking about eliminating 
the regulatory burden on small and medium-sized businesses. We are talking about eliminating the uncertainty with Obamacare by repealing Obamacare and we are talking about a Washington that will embrace energy independence and foster economic growth and create tens of thousands of high-quality, high-paying, middle-class jobs all across this country. <laughs> solutions. Solutions that will drive and create a growing economy that will enable us to reduce the deficit, eliminate the deficit, and start paying down our debt so that we can give our children a much better future than what President Obama and Debbie Stabenow are promising them today. We can do better. The President, as someone, someone who was wearing the T-shirt last night, you know, this President promised hope and change. He hasn't given us hope, and he can keep the change. It wasn't the change that America was looking for. But tonight, we invite people all across this state we invite Republicans, we invite Democrats, we invite independents to join us in setting a new course for Michigan and America. And the, the theme is very, very simple. Mr. President, Senator Stabenow, you haven't done your job. You haven't brought us the change that we are looking for. This is all about accountability and it is the belief of the people of Michigan that we can do better. Diane and I, Governor Snyder, who's looking for a friend in Washington to bring the same kind of change in Washington that we are experiencing in Michigan, Team Hoekstra, all the supporters around me and supporters across the state, let's bring this team together. Let's work for the next 13 weeks so that on November 6th we can repeat what we've done today, but then recognize that on January 3, when Michigan swears in a new U.S. Senator, and on January 20, when we swear in a new president from Southeast Michigan, from Oakland County, that we will be committed, that we will be committed to bringing the solutions to America that empower the American people and move authority from Washington, D.C. and move it back to grassroots America where we will experience the change and you will be in control of your future and not Washington, D.C. Thanks to all of you. Thank you for being here.